Where where were you locked up then? Hell. Oh, so you've been to locks too? No, no, literal. no, literal no. hell, Avernus, the top level. Okay. Adventures they take you to crazy places. Okay. <laughs> and they say I drink too much. <laughs> so Anyone tell you that? Uh, yeah, I, 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 I tell the, the captain hammer. that we think he's just he's just a bumbling idiot who's afraid of locks and just wants to get out. All right, I'll put the word in with Elijah. Uh, who would you like to speak to next? Uh, let's do the human man. Ah, that, that one's Martin. Martin? Not much is known about him. He... Why was he arrested? That's in character. He's looking through his notes to find out why the guy was arrested. Yes, he is! Urinated he in a public park. Uh... That's a fine at most. I mean, come on. Ah, yes. Now that's the, the telltale said, of the spy blocks. Says here, uh, this is strange. It doesn't really have any other de details. It just says participating in slavery. Oh, well, uh, I'm not going to like this guy. That doesn't make much sense. Uh, oh, uh, apparently he's not ready to be spoken to just yet. Uh, oh, okay. No, no. He he is being set up. Uh, huh, that's strange. Apparently someone else was questioning him already. They've just wrapped up, I have here. Also, I see on my notes here, him and Alice were brought in together. Who is Alice? Oh, that would be the uh, human woman, the other person we have here. They were arrested together. Okay. I'm surprised well, Alice is still story? alive, to be honest with you. Why is she in wow. such a bad condition? Oh, you see, that one... We arrested them both. And she had some kind of eggs. Damnedest thing I've ever seen. And we told her to put it down, and she refused. And they kept refusing. Uh, it says here in the report, they continued to beat her to try to get her to let go of the egg. And even an itch from dying, barely able to hold on to consciousness, she still wouldn't release it. So, being afraid they would actually kill her, the guards realized it was futile and gave up and just decided to let her keep the egg. I see. You're telling me that the guards beat this woman to within an inch of her life? Oh, God, she wouldn't put the egg down. How are they supposed to know if it was something dangerous or a weapon or something? That... Huh. Um... The, the man she came with, why, why were they both pulled in? It says here they were living together in some form of a arrangement or relationship. Okay. Hmm. Uh, there is a little side note here that says Alice had been seen skulking around at night. Why is this so vague? And this ain't even... You know... And the guards will just arrest people for anything, won't they? Well, no, see, it's actually my friend Tilbert that made this arrest, and this is not his handwriting. That's curious. That is odd. You hear an audible gasp on the other side. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you're good with you're good with codes and writing and stuff. Yeah, can I take a look at that? Oh yeah, sure. Um, uh, um, uh. Is Anything he, is, he, about the paper? he is sitting at a chair at a desk, and he kind of stands up and pulls the chair out, and he's like, oh, um, uh... I'll he jump kicks, on he, he kicks a little crate over next to the chair. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, I'll take a look at it and see if there's anything interesting about the writing. Perception check. It's very faint and very well done, but can tell that using something akin to like an out almost that part of the parchment some of the writing the actual what they've been arrested for and a lot of the information has been erased and then written over in a someone else's handwriting the new handwriting is quite obviously not what the first half of the sentence is 
Like, the person did a good job of erasing it, but didn't seem to care too much about covering it up. Mm. Uh, your, your friend. Are you able to call him here? What, what do you want me to call him? I already call him friend. Well, no, call him to come here. And how would I do such a thing? Just ask him to come. Do you well, I don't know where he is. is. Alright, we'll put a word out. Ask him to come here. Okay. I just suppose. No? I mean, I okay. saw him this morning. You, you, you bark, both work in the guard. You can't just tell him to come here? Woman, the guard is like 1,500 yes. people in a city of almost a million. Sure. We're stretched yes. pretty thin, and I don't know what part of town he's in right now. I'm sure that's documented somewhere. I don't know what kind of bureaucracy you're used to, but welcome to Rayhold, lass. I just stare at him dumbfounded, like... Well, to tell you why is this document's been altered. The original reason they've been arrested is no longer on the paper. No one except you are supposed to be able to question them, but then somebody came through. The man seemed like he was in a huge hurry, in a huge rush, and wanted to speak to... like, had to speak to Martin. He had all the official paperwork and everything and I'm starting to question what's going on there. Alright, three guys still sitting in the si single little waiting room, or the, you know, the spying room with the one-way mirror. Mm -hmm. Have see Martin in there and a very well-dressed man that Auric recognizes. Oh. As a member, as one of the leading members of the RPL is mm. sitting in there and talking <laughs> to Martin. <sighs> Look, Martin, I don't know what you did. I don't know exactly what you got arrested for, but I'm doing what I can to get you out of here. But you keep your mouth shut and you know about what I'm talking about. If anyone found out what was going on, it would ruin our plans. And we have to save Rayholt. So you just keep your mouth shut and I, somehow I will get you out of here. I don't care what strings I have to pull. And the man holds his hand to his chest like, RPL, we will save Rayholt. And he gets up and walks out. I am glaring <laughs> in their direction. You you have telepathy. You can tell us that. Hold on. Let him finish glaring first. Yeah, true. He's not used to having telepathy. He's not <laughs> the first thinks of. I mean, Ikri would have just asked telepathically if it someone's Tarth in the room. Land could tell y'all that someone's in there. True. There's this, uh, yeah, he would, Karth would have spoke up. He's like, is somebody else supposed to be interrogating the other man? To someone. Absolutely not. Oh. Oric is really just glaring daggers, which is surprising. This would be a really nasty fellow. Oh, I've encountered his kind before. It's the RPL again. No. Oh, hammer. Captain, uh, forging arrest documents and. or altering arrest documents and uh, sneaking into an interrogate. a uh, secret interrogation, is that an arrestable offense? Well, arrestable? I don't... I don't believe so. Uh, he is saying this as he pulls a light mace and fastens it to his hip and then pulls a short story from under the drawer. Yep, arrestable. Seems like an awful lot of paperwork, so... And he is, like, clutching this short sword and walking towards the interrogation room now. We need to question this man and his motives, too. You know what, I agree. I, I don't think... I have any problems with him doing that. I do. <laughs> How are we going to get answers from him if he's dead? Uh, just... mm. I follow the captain. Okay. You go yeah, You go around him. the corner, the door is wide open. Martin is sitting in the interrogation room, but Martin is alone. You need us? I'll ask telepathically which way did he go. Y'all saw him walk out and turn right, which, as you see, going farther down the hallway, goes about 20 feet until you get to a locked door that is heavily barred, including chains thrown across the front of it, and behind that is the actual holding cell Follow. Okay. Followed. You cannot, because y'all are in a little separate side room. Oh. Ikri sees that door. 
Y'all pretend Ikri is this guy. Y'all basically saw the guy be like, I don't know, I'm Mark. And then turn that way. I'll 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 ask them what uh what that man said to Martin. And he was being purposely vague, but they had some sort of plan going on that if if things were able to go according to plan, they could get him out. They must save Rayholt and their other nonsense they talk about. Yeah, and he told him to keep his mouth shut and don't say anything. He could get him out. Ikri, I think I I can do something about this. Oh. Let me talk to Martin. All right. <clears throat> okay. Kai's gonna... he, he's obviously been in prison for a little while. But he is sitting with his back straight, his chin up. He has a small grin on his face. He's a very well-groomed gentleman. He is actually like slightly cleaning dirt out from under his fingernails the best he can while he is sitting chained to this like table and floor and all. As you walk in, he nods and smiles and greets you. Good afternoon. Yeah. You like uh, when you walk in, you don't feel like you're walking into a man who was in prison. You feel like you were walking yeah. in to sit down at this. Like you feel like this guy owns this desk. It's that the, kind of prison. This guy knows he's got a real good lawyer and a real good defense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so Ko's gonna. I'll I'll, I'll I'll correct him and be like morning actually. Ah, so, well, isn't it? Sometimes. Well, perhaps um, someone someone I'm with your morning. standing could speak on our behalf or the other prisoners and get some windows in here so maybe we would know the difference. True enough. So, uh, we've finished editing the documents of your arrest. We should be able to get you out soon. Oh, were the, was the original paperwork done incorrectly? I have the utmost faith in the guards of Rayholt. It surprises me that any of them would make mistakes like that. The guards aren't in here. We don't have to pretend. And what are we pretending, my friend? Well, we we all know we're all part of the RPL. Ah, uh, yes. The RPL. They are fanatics. Very dangerous people. If I was you, I wouldn't be going around telling people you were part of that horrible organization. Especially since you were also members of the Shield of Yaren. What if people found out? They're also smart and cunning. Don't get caught like that. Well, if you wish to use your clandestine activities of however you see fit, being a kobold and a skilled member and a member of RPL, oh, you are just a jack of all trades, are you not? Of course we are. He he, he uh, leans forward and his grin disappears, and in Draconic he says, I am no fool. They would never allow a kobold in their ranks, nor am I a member of their ranks. So you can stop the games and we can speak frankly. Okay. Well, then why was one of them in here just talking to you? He glances over at the mirror and goes, Ah, oh, I should have seen that one coming. And he kind of waves a hand at the mirror to whoever just happens to be back there. And for whatever reason, I straight up had a mental image of Karth waving back. <laughs> I did too. Yeah. That was my first job. <laughs> that that yeah. seems like something that would happen. He actually does. <laughs> seems, seems like a nice guy. Oh, everyone else saw that in their head movies too. Just Carter yep. being like, "Hi." <laughs> that's right. that's great. Well, so yes, I have had uh, some business dealings with them, as I had business dealings with a lot of people. But my business is not I'll, much of your concern. <laughs> Why are you two in here? What need do you have of me? We're here to find out if you're actually a spy of Lox. Oh, well, if you are trying to root out the spy, you probably shouldn't pr start your conversation with mentioning the word spy. It could cause the person to want to clam up, and now that they know what you were after, they now hold all the cards. So I if you will excuse me, I would like to get back to my cell. I have nothing more to say. I don't think we're done here. I know you're not a spy. Doesn't seem... He, like his mouth closes, spy. and he is just smiling and kind of looking around the room. But like uh, ignoring your present. Mm. Looking through my spells, looking through my spells. Do you think he can survive an impaling strike, Ikri? I did you did you just pull your spell book out? 
Because <laughs> you were, no. if you're looking through your spells, you were holding your spell book in your hand at this point. <laughs> I I imagine that's what he's doing. I mean, yeah, it sure. could. It, yeah. How no one would know it could just be a book of notes or something. Pretending to be a lawyer. It's just like a wizard spell book. Yeah. He is carrying a spell book now that isn't, uh. This has spells in it. <laughs> Unless you buried that. Ellie, agree. What do you want to do with him? There's obviously more going on here. But he's no lock spy. Doubt the RPL would work with locks. Do you? They seem just crazy enough to do that. The, the whole point of it is the purity of Rahul. Why would they work with locks? Or are you just going to stand here and stare at each other? Or are you going to leave me be? Look, just because I was born in locks does not make me one of your little spies. All of you can just leave. Let me get back to my cell so I can enjoy the rest of my day. We are done here. You hold no power over me. You have nothing I want, and I now hold all the cards of information, so be on your way, please. We have you incarcerated. We hold plenty of power over you. Oh, <laughs> just that. Well, you do for now. So let me continue my incarceration in peace and be gone. But he like makes his no. shoeing motion with his hand. Punch him in the face, Secret. I hate him. <laughs> He's so, so smug. Joe's going to set down his bag for a moment, like over here or something, and a staff, and a spell book, and he's going to walk up to the dude. Oh, hey, you don't hey, have your staff. Yeah. I, will, I will say yes, telepathically to you, Joe. To... Mention it before you do anything drastic. I'm, I'm not going to do anything yeah, crazy. Baker, you just hear in your head the word drastic really loud as he cast in pale and <laughs> Uh I'm going to walk up to him, and I'm going to rip a hair off his head. Ah. Oh. Are you are you gonna use that for some scrying magic while I'm right here? Nope. Maybe maybe a witch's curse. You're gonna throw that in your cauldron. Go ahead, hex me. You'll find out what it's for later. Can, can I lean over to what page is open on the spell book to see what he's looking at? <laughs> uh, the the <laughs> ninth level spell claw. Um, that, that would be so good here. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Ko will just drop it into his bag. Okay. I'll add it to my character sheet. I I cannot wait for you to waste the time and resources to attempt to scry or locate me using one of my hairs just to learn it won't work. Pathetic little spellcasting wannabe. Oh, he seems a little mad, doesn't he? I I just I just sit down across from him and just watch him. Because apparently he's going to keep talking, so I'm just going to let him do that. Joe's going to examine the hair, put it in the bag, close it. And then I was a half expecting to like, Ko then eats the hair and looks at the guy. Deception check. Now you just wait for what's about to happen. <laughs> I, and I'll, 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 I'll say to Ko telepathically, just just sit down and just be quiet. Okay. He's going to keep talking. I will sit down. Um, telepathically, I'll tell Ikri the hair had nothing. That I just wanted to rip the hair out of him. Now I have to try to keep a straight face, dang it. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh. Did you know that faces are. Cool. You're, oh, face. cool. You're trying a new interrogation method where you're just gonna wait for me to give myself up. Well, you know what? That's not happening. No. But I will take no. advantage of you finally being quiet. And he kind of leans back a little bit, puts his head on the back of the chair, and closes his eyes. I mean, technically, this isn't an interrogation anymore. We're just going to annoy you. He is still sitting there with his eyes closed as if he is trying to go to sleep now. Agree. Let him go to sleep. I don't want to shock him awake. Um, how? I don't know. Just, like, <laughs> push his chair over or something. I mean, from you, I thought Doc been electricity. <laughs> yeah, I did too. That's why I was like, oh, that I sounds like know, it'll be a damaging. Skip level lightning bolt. <laughs> I, I mean, not, honestly, I mean, what are we even doing here? At this point, I just want to hammer. Um, I don't think that will help us, and Probably I'm not. very suspicious of him. I think our. All right. Well, 
here. Best is there a is table the between us? Yes. Okay. Ko's gonna climb up on the table. Yep. Ko's just gonna slap him across the face. Whoa, whoa! His his eyes he just jumped forward as his eyes open. He kinda looks at you. He reaches his hands up and kinda wipes his lip to check for blood. Obviously there's not any because Ko gets like a hammer. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Except Do when we he's actually punching want me to roll it? <laughs> no. no. Um, so Coco uh, no, no, goes back no, to he, his seat. He, he looks at you and he smiles. And then he blows a kiss at you. And nestles back in and closes his eyes. The woman. Tell me about the woman. He begins humming. The one that was brought here with you. Acre, flat Co wisdom check. Co you're giving him more, more power over you. You recognize the tune he is humming as a children's song. Sung in locks. He said he was born in locks. I will hum along with him. Uh, as you begin, he opens his. He does open his eyes and look at you, and begins kind of humming louder while looking at you. Does it have words? No, it is just a tune. All right, Co sits down. He's gonna watch this. <laughs> does uh, it have a name? Uh, yes, but I can't think of it because the GM didn't think that far ahead. Oh, okay. <laughs> but uh, there is the part of the, we'll say the hook of the song, which is like, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. he twists it and like lowers some bars and adds an extra note. Give me a yeah, a steak right there. Ooh. The 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 rabbit and the flower. Yes, it is the flower and the rabbit. It's the name of the song. See, now it is mine and unique, and I thought of it. Yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> it's now a completely different IP. Yeah. Oh, hammer. You recognize the tune he did, and you see one of his eyes kind of look over you as he did the tune, and you know what tune is supposed to come next. It is not the actual children's tune. It is a... Someone will hum part of the tune a certain way, and then you hum a reply mixed into the melody of the tune itself, to signify undercover statecraft or spy work within Vox. It's how they recognize and signify each other. So he has just told me he's a spy. Awesome. Without realizing it. I, I, I you, look you, at... I, you, know, you know the tune. Do you reply it? Do it. Play your hand. Yeah, yeah, I will. Do you know what your modifier is for statecraft? The DC was 36. I just want you to. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I want you to understand. I, I rolled what well. What just then. happened here? Uh, you reply? You do the yes. you do the proper okay. He yes. stops the, he stops the tune immediately, puts his hand on the table and sits up and goes, "Really?" And him as he like motions his head towards uh go. So would you mind giving us the room? Yeah, sure. Hey, do uh, telepathically do get information on the woman. I'll do my best. If it's all the same with you, I'd feel way more comfortable in another room and he kind of head nods to the mirror. You've already given away that there are people behind there. True. Um... I'll see what I can do. I'll go. I'll go uh, talk to the captain and see if there's a different room I can interrogate. He, in. he leans forward and whispers to you, "Where the sun now sets, it will once again rise." Which is an old underground locks and saying, "Locks being in the west, the sun sets there." There is an old tale of how Lox was once the entire continent before Yaren, and this tale is talking about how Lox will once again be the entire continent, and the sun will rise and set on Lox. Okay. I go ask the ask the cat, uh, guard captain if I can uh, interrogate him in a different room. Uh, he obliges. You are put okay. in a different room. All right. So we don't see it. <laughs> Joe's gonna go look at the woman for now. Oh, I guess it's over with. Actually, yeah. Can we move the woman to the new? 
I, the... I will I will say telepathically I have convinced him that I am a spy as well. Oh. Oh, and you didn't even have to punch him. Oh, that's so good. But I slapped it's him. Usually easier when you don't. It was funny because he was being such a smug hammer. Did you really slap him, Brother Co? You was saw really? him watched me do it. <laughs> Was it really... Did you even hurt him? Or was it just a scare tactic? It was more just to get his attention. Mm-hmm. Like, I could have tried to do damage. Don't... Not very Apsu of you! Come, mm-hmm. Coach. <laughs> Coach's been stronger than he looks. I, I heard he, he can turn him bigger and stronger. Oh, yeah, I have become a dragon before. You What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a story for another time. Are we just at a normal mirror window now and I'm just waiting? No, the, the guard takes you to another room and okay. then the guard comes and gets all of you and says, come here. And there are little spot, like peepholes and spy holes to look into this new room. Oh. Now Ko's going to go look. Oh. Actually, no. Ko wants the the woman in, in the old room. So this Jerris, you he repented. Did you turn him to the ways of Absu? Or he was just repentant for his deeds? I couldn't quite get him to go that far. I mean, as you said, you kind of know how orcs kind of are sometimes. I couldn't get him quite that far in the time I knew him. But, you know, he, he stopped, you know, raiding. So I saved him from doing that, because I would have had to stop him if he didn't stop himself. If he hadn't have stopped, you would have killed him? For any who betray my mercy, there is no mercy left. Well said. That's anathema to <laughs> Apsu. If once they... You get the second chance. Once you, once you earn that, there's no more I can give. It's good to know. I was afraid you were one of those goody two-shoes type. Um, well, yes. The Waybringer is very good. As am I. But you still understand that killing is sometimes necessary to destroy evil. Yes. You do your best to stop it and to bring it to the light, but not all can be turned. So I'm assuming when it comes to obviously evil creatures like the undead, there's no chance of trying to turn them. Well, I'll give them plenty of Apsu's light. Uh, I like that. Y- you know that hurts them, right? Yeah, oh, no, I do. Okay, okay. Park looks in the peephole. You know, I've seen one of these in the loo with the custard before, but it didn't have glass on it. I, is I don't think it's that's what you think it is called. You put custard through a hole. Why would you yes. do that? Yes. It's very tasty custard. Huh. Whew. I. <laughs> Lan, have you managed to make it to the custard? I have not. I've only just arrived. We should go sometime. You just told me it's a place I shouldn't go. I wouldn't like. (laughs) Mm. No, probably not. It is a establishment that offers pleasures of the flesh for money. Alcohol for money, food for money. So I'm going to assume that ah. this is a favorite hangout of Code then. Oh yes. I enjoyed myself as well, but Co has become quite popular there. That is a kind of surprise to me. Oh. <clears throat> Not my wording. <laughs> but yeah, I don't imagine that someone of Apsu's devotion and light would uh, frequent an establishment like that. Does Apsu allow pleasures of the flesh, or are you celibate? Oh, he has no 
problems with the earthly pleasures. So he, he celibate, give a bit. <laughs> Car slaps you on the back. I missed you. I am not ready for any of that until I'm I've completed my divine quest and ready to return to my tribe. Yeah, they uh Ko and Oric are very different kobolds. <laughs> yes. <laughs> very. Is there uh someone you're pining for back home already, or you just haven't found the right one yet? Uh, it's been so long since I've spent enough time with my tribe, I don't know. I have traveled this land long and hard since I became a cleric. Yes, the road does get quite lonely. Yes, Brother Fennis did not decide to travel with me down here. He is still keeping things safe in the spine. Now, you said you were 17. Is uh, the age for kobolds, are you considered a young kobold? Or... Older than me. I am well considered an adult by my kind, yes. Is he older than you, Co? He is older than me. Yep. Technically, Co's almost 16. I was going to do, do a do a session where Co's birthday came up. And, his, and then he hit puberty? Oh, Co definitely. Th- they've hit puberty long ago. <laughs> <laughs> See, I am uh, 16 years old and it's considered adulthood as well. By work standards, we don't live very long. Aye, means we must make the most of every day. But I am hoping on my path to godhood when I ascend into my deific form that maybe I'll get a few more years for all of my good deeds on this earth. I have never considered such a thing. It seems like you will attract much attention, Carthahama. Good and bad. Aye, and I'm fully prepared for that. You've been open to sit down with one of these gods or goddesses one day and just have a nice chat with them, but so far, all my methods of communication have been met with silence. Well, if you discover a way to do that, uh, there'd be many people very interested. You'll be the first to know, especially if it's absolute. I would hope so. They love to be more cryptic and in dreams, not specific in their visions and talks to us mortals. I'll put in a good word for you. <laughs> I appreciate it. I think of, I think I have a good word with him already. I would hope so. For all he has given me. Aye. Orc silver, right? Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna go poop now. He is basically or- every bit as much a cleric of Absu as you can be. <laughs> uh, Orc is light co, but but shinier. Yep. He's not lightning though. Light co, but shinier. <laughs> so Ikri, uh you have befriended Martin. What are you doing? Um, I get him in the room and uh. So, what was your mission here? You you know better than that. You're not True, supposed to discuss such things. Look, uh. Mostly, I just want news. Well, it was about what? I just came to Rayhol four or five months ago, so I don't know how long you've been here. Maybe I know something you don't. I've I've been away from Lox for quite a while, and so I just would like to be up to date on the goings on there. Well, the last I heard, the Black King's expansion is going well. He no longer has a city state. It's my understanding, I don't know how, but he managed to get into the actual King of Lox's location and kill him, and 
Now, the Black King owns all of Locked, which, before I left, seems to have made him angry. He now owns all of Locks and realizes how much left of the continent he doesn't own. Oh, but still, that is a significant step forward. Give me a diplomacy check while you're having all this conversation. Yeah. <laughs> or actually, deception. Give me deception. Yeah, deception would be better. Yeah. Oh. This is blind, because you don't know if you pass it. Dang it. Diplomacy would have been better. Okay. Uh, well, it, it is good to, it is good to see an ally. Uh, you're wearing the badge of the shield. Uh, that's brilliant to get into the shield and destabilize Rayholt from, from within its, its own protective barrier. That's amazing. I'm, I'm honestly surprised I managed it. Uh, I mean... I came here several months ago. I set myself up as kind of a black market merchant here. Uh, no reason not to make a little money on the side while still furthering Lox's agenda, of course. Uh, with my black market trading, I've, I've got a, this massive network within Ray Holt. I've got tons of information. I've. Uh, I've traded slaves to some cultists for detailed maps of the sewers. I've supplied weaponry to the RPL. They're, once they start using them weapons, chaos following that completely destabilize rail. Mm. Oh, and ah, uh, since you are part of the shield, I would recommend not being near your guild hall more often. It is just one of many places that have been set with magical traps and explosives. That, I don't know when they're going to be set off, but when Lox is ready, they will be. Oh, thank God. I appreciate that tip. And uh, you wouldn't believe the ledger that I have of all the prominent members of Rayholt for future blackmail purposes. Mm, I imagine. I tried to get some dirt on the king himself, but that man's an open book. He wears his dirt on his sleeve. Yeah, it's hard to blackmail the man with no shame. Ah, but that, uh... It's my understanding that the Kobold encampment is supposed to get attacked here soon, and that's gonna be pretty fun. But the weapons have already been delivered, uh... It is good to meet you, but here soon, someone will be coming to get me out in exchange for, you know, not ratting out the RPL. Ah, yes. I imagine they've been very helpful to you. Well, most of them are, you know, the highfalutin members of society around here, so you play into their hatred. And... See, they don't realize the reason Lox is going to win this war is you've got so many little factions here in Rehul and Yaren that fight amongst themselves. Under the Black King, Lox is a united front. Yeah. They're just going to lose this war because they can't stop fighting themselves. Who cares if some kobolds want to live in your city? Lox just makes them part of the military along with everyone else. All right. Uh, Ikri, I'm going to leave you paused on that note, okay? Okay, that's fine. Uh, Alice is brought in and set before you, Co. Yay. she holding her egg? She is. She is almost carried in there because she cannot stand on her own. Uh, once they set her down, chain her up, whatever, you'll mm -hmm. wait for them to leave. Okay, they do. The door's closed. You're in there alone. All right. <laughs> Boom, heal. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you use it to I harm mean, living, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> totally have that ability. Well, roll it. She is full healed. Okay. Ko is best healer in party. He is. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> For one roll. He gets one roll, and it's higher than everybody else's, but then everybody else yep. gets a lot more healing rolls. Um, so, yeah. Um, he sits there, looks at her, waits for her to kind of come to you. 
He just looking at you. Thank you. But you're not. You're still not taking it. I don't care. And she's like clutching the egg to her chest. Do you know who I am? No. Am I supposed to? Hmm. Possibly. Tell me about the egg. Why? You want to take it like everyone else? You can't. I it's all no I have left of my mother. Egg. It's all I have left of my family. Why would your mother have this egg? Who are you? You're not even asking about me. Everyone else started asking about locks this, locks that. Started asking about Martin. What do you want? I have no interest in locks. Uh, technically here under guise of questioning Locke's prisoners. Anyway. Look, yes, I was with Martin. I've only known him for a couple months. He let me move in not long ago. I needed a place to live. He was really nice. I met him while working in the city here. Down on my luck and he helped me out. I don't know what he does behind closed doors. I don't know who... I don't know why he was arrested. You won't talk to life. him. And it doesn't appear to be. Okay. Alice, right? Yes. What do you do? I was born here in Rayhold, just like I told the other guards. I lived here all my life. This this egg is my brother. Or I guess half, I guess half brother. Uh, my, my mother died some years ago, left behind a lot of debt. I had to get a job at a local brothel. Not really proud of it, but that's where I met Martin. He, he was a regular for a while, and he took me out of the brothel and let me live with him. And things started to look up, and now we're here. Mm, and this yes. this woman this woman is like in her mid forties. Yeah. Wouldn't your brother have hatched by now? From what mom said, a curse was put on him that he would never hatch until his father laid hands upon the egg. At least that's the story that mom said. And she loved us both equally, even though it was just an egg. I didn't understand as a child, but when my mom died and the only thing that was left behind was this egg, it's the last piece of family I have, the last piece of her that I have. And it's not strange to you that your mother would have an egg? She said it was... She spent the night with one of your people many years ago. A kobold. Must have been, what, 40 plus years? Yeah, I'm if not closer to 50. Mm. Said it, uh, she met him and she did describe him as blue, like you are. Uh, but, uh, she was around Four Winds Trading Post. With all the refugees in town, I. You know, blue kobolds are kind of common. The refugees have only been here for the past few months. What I mean is, is it's not uncommon to see a blue kobold at the moment. No, not in today's world. Hmm. Yeah, that's probably some... But however... Hammer. ...of a kobold that has lots of children just all over the place. Yeah, whoever he was, he's... I doubt he's living any longer. Your, your people live for what? 30, 40 years? And sometimes up to 60. Ah, uh, yes, then he would be long gone by now. Hmm. So the egg's your brother. Who would curse the egg? Why would that be a thing? My my mother had a gambling problem. See, that's where she <laughs> met my father. It was some gambling that was going on at the Four Winds Trading Post. And she just kept gambling. I heard he made a lot of... Never mind. <laughs> you heard... How would you... Te what? Sorry. I've read a book on that particular kobold. 
You know... Who the father of my half-brother is? He... Yes. Is he... So he's your half-brother, but... Not... Okay. Well, obviously, I don't have any kobold in me. And I swear to God, if Kobe goes, would you like some? <laughs> you know what? She's not related to me. <laughs> oh. Uh, okay. All right. Um, interesting. It does change what I originally thought about you. What did you think about? Uh, we'll go over that in a moment. You don't belong here. That's what I've been telling everyone. I mean, yes, I was staying with Martin, but I don't know what Martin is doing. He was just being, he was being nice. He helped pay off mother's debts, gave me a place to live, took me out of that, that brothel. Hmm. Strange of him. Has he ever wanted anything to do with the egg? I mean, he asked about it. And, uh, no. He, he probably thought I was weird and a little bit crazy, and I assume I am for carrying it around all this time. No, I don't think it's quite crazy. Um, he's gonna set his bag on the table. Um, you could put the egg in there if you want to. I will not re I will not let go of my brother. Who are you? Why are you asking all these questions? I am a friend of King Elijah's. Why does King Elijah care about my half brother or my mother? He does. You go talk to Martin. Why do you? I don't understand what is going on. I'm mainly confirming you are not part of this lock spy thing. Well, I told you I wasn't. But I you know. Did, you haven't even I, asked I a single you. question about locks or Rayholt. All you keep asking about is this egg. <laughs> I do have an interest in the egg, yes. Why? She clutches it, like, tighter to her chest. Um... What do you know about the, the shield of urine? I had a hammer. crazy gnome ask me, offer me 150 gold once God, to buy... God, hammer, hammer. Laren. Yes, that was his name! Yeah, don't, don't sell anything to him. 150 gold would have been more money than I'd no, know what no, to do with, I... but my half-brother's life is is worthless or priceless I'm sorry it's worth no amount of gold Co will it's worth drop more than gold. 15 platinum on the table what is this for don't worry about the gold I'm not giving you the egg no I don't want to take the egg from you I what am I supposed to do with that shove it up my hammer if they take me back to the prison cell you will be released. Don't worry about that. Why do you keep asking about the egg? And what about the... The wolf hammer? Yes, what do you Wolves know? Wolves don't have hammers. Um, wolf and hammer, the adventuring group. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mother did mention... The, the guy she... The guy that... I guess you just call it for what it is. The guy she banged was a member of the Wolven Hammer. Yes. Um, you have heard they've come back, right? Oh, well, that's cool, I guess. Uh, taking up the old banner and going out and adventuring and stuff. I, I, I guess it's hard to come up with new adventuring names when you're an up-and-coming party or whatever heard the story of Oleg and Dine. They disappeared. Of course, right? everyone's heard that. I was, I was just a child when all that happened. I was just barely born when all that happened. Hmm. So, it may seem strange, but they disappeared, right? For 48 years. What do you mean, 48 years? As far as I could count, that was the right number, but... 
Uh, they they all died fighting Oleg. That is true. 48 years. It's the 48th anniversary coming up in just a few weeks now. Oh, so I am off. Oh, wait. The 49th anniversary. Sorry. Okay. So <clears throat> they're... Wait. They're back? Yes. Even the kobold? That is correct. Well, where is he? I must speak to him. Um, to just kind of motion to himself. Where is he? I, I am Co. Her face goes pale white as all the blood drains out of it. <laughs> she just die? No. <laughs> you can't be. I am. She. See when here. her arm still heavily wrapped around the egg, leans forward slightly to put the egg within your reach. I, I have to know. Do we want to do that here? I have to know if Mother was right. If it is a cursor, if she was insane. She did get kind of crazy in the final years there. All right. She uh, used yeah. to scream about how you would come back to save her. Um. Unfortunately, I did die. And honestly, first I've heard of the egg. Um, he's going to take off his glove and he'll reach out to touch it. The egg cracks and oh, shatters shit. in her hand. Her arms open up as a tiny baby blue kobold hits the table. Well, I'll right then. It stretches and makes chirpy sounds looking up at both you and Alice. <laughs> Cole reach a hand out towards it. Um, can you tell if it's male or female? It is male. Okay. Okay. Hmm. What did your mother want to name him? Wait, how did she know it was a male while he was in the egg? She kept calling it her brother. That's just... My mother always said this was my brother. It's like she knew somehow. Hmm. Did she and have a name for him? She always said you would come back and y'all would name it together. I am sorry I didn't come. Well, I have carried this egg around for almost five decades. You owe a lot of child support. <laughs> I mean, he How did just put a hundred. He did just put fifteen platinum on the table. I did. <laughs> True. Uh, okay, we're gonna expedite this through. You and yeah. her continue talking. You hang out with your new baby son for a little bit, and you get her out of here. Uh, yeah. You are going to get her ready. She's a spy, right? I No, I don't think so. Okay. Good. Now I have someone to set off the explosions around Regal. Probably, yeah. <laughs> so I would just like to point out from Carl's point of view, Carl went into a room with a woman, and then Land came to get his <laughs> attention, and he came back, and there was already a baby being born. <laughs> <laughs> so so just, uh, just like, Go works what? fast. <laughs> I knew Ko was skilled in this kind of thing, but that is a miracle. <laughs> you want to tell Ko congratulations in his head thoughts? <laughs> Would yes. your head speak? <laughs> yeah, well, first he's going to be like, Ko, what the hell? You go into a room with a woman and suddenly you have a baby? <laughs> no. Oh, you all saw that. You're not watching Ikri. Oryx don't watch Nikri, but... <laughs> or, or, Oryx watching Nikri, but Land came over and said you had a baby. Uh, yes. Yes. I, this is my son now. What's his name? I haven't named him yet. I need to think on that. That is a long name. You are taking this, uh, in stride, Coach. Uh, I kind of knew this would happen when I came here today. Wait, so is that... The mother? Kind of. No, that's his sister. Well, Is that, that's your half daughter? sister. No, I guess not. 
Well. The daughter of the I... woman that gave birth to this egg, though. I suppose that makes her a stepdaughter? Half. Uh, Half. Yeah, I guess stepdaughter. I didn't really Because you didn't marry them all. Your, son, <laughs> your son's sister. Yes. So is he... Wait, how could this be? Cobalt physiology allows you to uh, pair with humans? We don't go over that a lot. In fact, it's better to not think too hard on it. I... Col Kobolds have very poor sex education. <laughs> <laughs> Co may be the exception. The, the sex education class is they're just given a test. The test has multiple choices. It says yes or no. If you put no, you failed the class. <laughs> it's just a hot or not <laughs> test. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Co may be the exception. He seems to be potent in those ways. Yes, Karth is pregnant. <laughs> oh, it's no. a wizard magic. <laughs> he just goes Hammer. out an egg. Apparently, sell it to Laren for 150 gold. I could have infinite, infinite money. Wait, where did Hammer. he get 150 gold? That is a question for Laren. He is not here. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who shit. is who is this Laren? Oh, he's our chef. He oh, has no. some un unorthodox methods. Makes delicious food, but sometimes there are extra ingredients that we've had to have a few talks with them and about. And Ikri absolutely loves him. Um, he Ikri was trying. He was, from my understanding, attempting to cook Ko's son. I don't know if he knew that it was a kobold. He tried, no. yeah. May have just thought it was an egg. With Laren, it's like kobold egg, chicken egg. It's all egg, so therefore, there's no moral compass. That sounds very unfortunate. Ikri's had a talk with him a few times. We're still working on it. And how many chances has he gotten? <laughs> she uh, sounds a patient woman. You, you'd have to ask. Him. Oh. Speaking of, Ko, are you... Gonna carry a baby around now, or I need to figure that out. Alice is holding your son, by the way. Yeah, he he doesn't like stop her or anything. Well, uh, trust, trust um, her what, what do baby kobolds eat? Um, <laughs> the kobold has no response. Excellent. <laughs> wow. What did I eat when I was a kid? You ate meat, Co. Uh, Co carries no food with him because you always carried hammer. You were you were given a bulk of beef jerky by Hamler once. I gave that all to Karth. There's still some strips in your bag okay, because you didn't right. get it all out. Fine. Because I even though you were getting bag. it all out during the night, Hamler kept putting more in there. Damn it, Hamler. <laughs> all right. I miss Hamler. <laughs> uh. There, yeah, Ko will get Co food Co from his bag. Ko Jr. devours the jerky. He's just like shredding it apart with his teeth. Actually, at one point while biting it, you see an arc of lightning jump from between one tooth to another tooth as he breaks down. He is gonna be powerful. <laughs> um, we still need to name him. Uh, I don't want to just name him. Yeah, it seems inappropriate to just name him. Myself. Should we name him Jonathan? Name him Bo. That is a common name. Bo the Cold. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best, yes. Uh, All right, Ikri, you were in there with Martin. While Ko figures out how to feed his own race, apparently. Our, our gonna I mean, I, mean, I wouldn't know babies. what to do with a newborn human baby either, so whatever. You would mean, hammer. Give it some apple, right? I mean, we, kn we know that mammals drink milk, but... He's a lizard. Yeah. So he doesn't. They don't have memory. Games. You were born pretty much able to fend for I, yourself. I don't know. I've seen some pictures on the internet. <laughs> These, uh, those are those are Argonians, and that's just sap. It's different. 
Do these uh, peep holes that look into the room, do they have a glass? No, they're just like small holes. Oh, okay. Parse just... Well, Agri, you're in there with Martin. What you doing? Um... One thing I don't get is... What... What were you doing with this woman? Oh, uh... Took a liking to her. Uh... Little... Little crazy in the head. But really, really sweet. <laughs> Knows the, her ways around a man. Picked her up at a brothel. And, uh... Not gonna lie, like I said, I kind of took a liking to her. Wanted to do good by her, at least. You know, if, if I've got to stay in Ray Holt, I can enjoy my time here. Fair enough. Now he punches him now. Oh. <laughs> well, anything else? I don't really have anything. What news do you have? You said you've been here a while. What have you uncovered? Oh, oh, um. Let's see, what have I uncovered? You know about that secret entrance to the king? <laughs> <laughs> you do. <laughs> Wait a minute. You played me, you hammer. Oh, you just now realized it. Hammer. How did... Who are... That doesn't matter. Look, I have a hidden cache. Easily 5,000 gold worth of gold and platinum ingots. It's yours if you just flip the hell up and get me out of here. 